Like, just put my phone there. What's up, people? So they are of ISC and elsewhere. This is Undefeatable Twilight, hoping she's in shot because I can't see myself because I'm using my phone's rear-facing camera. And I just want to check and make sure I am actually recording because, uh, yep, I am good. Because I did this uh, just a second ago and then it turned out that I wasn't actually recording anything, which is which was great. Anyways, this is going to be a very short chapter, it's only like a paragraph long, so thankfully <laughs> I don't have to do too much work again, having to read this again, because I did it before and then found out I wasn't actually recording myself. So here we go, chapter 26. Yes, very salutary, said Arthur, after Slatter Bartfast had related the salient points of this story to him, but I, don't, but I don't understand what all this has got to do with the earth and mice and things. That is but the first half of the story, Earthman, said the old man, if you would care to discover what happened seven and a half million years later on the great day of the answer, allow me to invite you to my study where you can experience the events yourself on our censo tape records. That is, unless you would care to take a quick stroll on the surface of New Earth. It's only half completed, I'm afraid. We haven't even finished burying the artificial dinosaur skeletons in the crust yet. Then we have the tertiary and quaternary periods of the Cenozoic era to lay down and... No, thank you, said Arthur. It wouldn't be quite the same. No, said Slatterbart Fast. It won't be. And he turned the air car round and headed back towards the mind-numbing wall. There we go. That's cha yeah, that's chapter 26. That's the whole of it. Seriously. I told you some of these chapters were going to be very short. Anyways, I'll try and do these every Wednesday. Hopefully I'll stick to that schedule because I really want to make this a regular thing. Anyways, take care. Love and peace.